Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. Last week, the RBA Governor, Philip Lowy, gave the strongest indication yet that the interest rates are heading lower in a speech in Adelaide. Governor Lowy said he wants to see more Australians in work and to earn more money. He also made another plea to state and federal governments for a little help so that the central bank could, couldn't rescue the economy all by itself. Now, later today, we do have Governor Lois speaking again at a panel at the ANU Crawford Australian Leadership Forum in Canberra. Market most probably will be asking questions to the uh, governor in terms of how it views its interest rates. But as you know, from the given comments from last week, that Governor Lowy is more holding to a further cut. Now, at present, we are looking at 69% chance for a rate cut in July and 82% chance for one in August and pricing uh, also one in December. However, the market is still likely to see one in August as it is the higher weighting of 82%, given that July is only around 50 to 60. Nevertheless, from a technical point, though, we are pushing back to the top side of the range. The resistance seen at 69.55 and then the 60-day moving average seen above at 70 cents. I do believe the market should find difficulty as it now climbs for its fifth consecutive day. But nevertheless, bears are ready to ambush the market and no doubt send it back towards the support region of 68.95 with a base which was briefly contested last week at 68 figure 40, with the low being 34. The dollar index is still remaining under pressure, as it now posts a fresh three-month low this morning of 95.57, with the support, that is the key level, of 95.40 still remaining vulnerable. A break beneath there would give further scope to 94.40.60, and this on the flip side may negate the top side this level of 113.8090 and maybe head on towards 114.60. My stop at present is roughly 30 points from this level, so I'll be stopping out at 114.22 if the market does rally on just and reassess to see how the market plays, purely for the fact is that the dollar has broken down. But while 113.90 holds, then I'm looking for a pullback to 113.45. The dolly N finally crumbled underneath the support of this level of 107.80 area and now posts a long-legged doji as indecisiveness comes as the market looks towards the level of 106.60.75. We are oversold but the MACD is supporting the bearish case and with the yen strength holding due to the fact of the geopolitical risks that are currently out there at the moment could see a bit more strength to the yen and challenge this level of 106.60 and reassess from there. Well, as Boris Johnson now knocks on the door at 10 Downing Street and he's got one foot actually in there, could see further risk to the upside if the fact is that Johnson tries to attempt to put an ease, a softer landing, that is to the Brexit situation. Nevertheless, a break of 127.60 would, in my terms, see a move up to 128.40.60. So let's see how it plays out in the next 24 hours. Gold still rallying and now breaking above 1,400 and looks towards a level of 1,412 after seeing two tenths at 11. It is assessed a break above 1,425 could give scope up towards 1,460. There is still uncertain in terms of the Middle East situation, although there is many uh, cross wires out there in how they see it with Trump. But nevertheless, the market has, at this stage, cooled off a little bit in terms of the shooting down of the uh, drone that was um, recorded or posted last week in the news by the Iran. But nevertheless, the technicals are still saying that the market is still playing to a, a safe haven demand and gold is not backing away, even though we are overbought. Do keep your stop loss, stop loss um, equivalent to your risk management, that is because if we do see a sharp turnaround, the market can easily plummet back towards the lower side of 1,380. Wrapping up with oil, the market's pushing at this level of $58 a barrel, 
I do believe the market could break there and see a rise up towards 59.40 to $62 a target where I've outlined just beneath here around this level here. So I do believe the market could easily poise a challenge up there. MACD is very strong and also the ADX is quite close to trending. So let's see if we can get a break today. Well, that wraps up for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the Inch Day Report. I hope you enjoy the great start to this new week.